Now, ever since the war started, Palestinians have been suffering day in and day out. Every day is like a nightmare for the people alive. Their homes have been destroyed, their livelihoods have been snatched, and adding to the wars of the Gazans, major hospitals have been turned into ruins. Not a single facility is fully functioning, and people are surviving in the already cramped part of the Strip, which is Rafah. Now, Rafah, it is the main hub of the humanitarian response in Gaza and as some of its last functioning health facilities. The United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, said that the main maternity hospital in the crowded Rafah city has stopped admitting patients. The Al-Halal Al-Emirati Maternity Hospital had been handling 85 out of a daily total of 180 births in Gaza. This is prior to an escalation of fighting between Hamas and Israeli troops on Rafah's outskirts. After fleeing other parts of the enclave, around half of Gaza's 2.3 million people have taken refuge in Rafah. The Emirati hospital has only five delivery beds. But following the mass influx of people into Rafah, the hospital became the main place for women to give birth in Rafah. Other hospitals in the city, like Abu Yusuf Al-Najjar Hospital, for months have been admitting war wounded and directing those wounded in war and directing women in labor to the Emirati hospital instead. The UNFPA also recently brought in mobile maternity services to Rafa along with the mobile unit. Two tents have also been set up to cater to normal deliveries and for the management of obstetric compl uh, complications as well. And now the World Health Organization has warned that there is only two days of fuel left for sustaining health services in the south of Gaza. The WHO said a delivery of fuel to the area was denied on Wednesday. It also said that Abu Yusuf al Najjar Hospital in Rafah was already no longer functional. It is one of the three hospitals in the city. Many in Rafah have been displaced multiple times. They are now heading back north after Israeli forces called for the evacuation of the city's eastern part, which is currently hosting tens of thousands of people.